Hello everyone, my name is Regina Goodman and I'm a Solutions Engineer here at SnapLogic. In this video, we're going to take a look at updating multiple fields using a single expression within the mapper snap. Let's move into our designer and take a look. Within my pipeline, I'm returning data, in this case from Salesforce. And as we can see, because the data was returned from an API, all of the data is returned as string values. Now where this is causing a problem for me is within my date fields. This format is not going to work for my final purposes. That may be inserting into a file, that may be inserting into a database. Now, I've gone ahead and I've updated the mapper with expressions that will take one of the dates and update it into what is my ideal format. However, I quickly notice when I open my mapper that I have a large amount of fields, many of which are going to be need to be updated. And I would prefer not to have to manually go through, identify and update each field. Luckily for me, the mapper is a very powerful tool and I'm gonna show you how I can use this tool to make these updates all within a single statement. So because I liked the format that I already came up with in the mapper, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy that. And I'm gonna create a new output here where I'm going to use a function called map values. Now what this function does is it allows me to transform values within my data set using a callback, in this case to the key name. So I'm going to update the entire data set, scroll down to my object functions and choose map values. In this case, I'm going to update those based on value and key. And I'm going to tell it how I want that update to be performed. In this case, I'm going to search the key for date anywhere within the key name above position zero. So basically anywhere in my key, it says date. I'm gonna to wanna to make an update. And you know what? I'm only gonna make that update if the value is not null. So now I'm going to say, okay, these are the conditions. This is what I want you to do. And I'm gonna paste in the expression that we were happy with earlier. I'm going to replace out the individual field name with value because I want to apply this to values anywhere in my data set. And now I'm going to use the else condition, which is a colon, to tell it if my condition was not met, just pass the value through unaltered. And that completes out the simple expression, which will now update any of the values it identifies within my data set. Now back within the mapper, I'm gonna tell it that I wanna replace out my data set with the update in that expression. I'll go ahead and I'll get rid of these mapper values, which we no longer need, and go ahead and save the mapper. Now, now that this is validated, you can see that within my data set, all of the fields remain the same, except of course, for any of the fields containing date, which now are all passed through in the format that I identified as being ideal to my purposes. Quick, one statement, easy peasy update across every field in my data sets. 